Hey guys, I'll come those back. Today we are going to be unboxing Lord Achilles from Beyblade Burst GT. So this is a right spinning attack type bait and it is a WBBA special edition. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's get this box open and check out the bay. Alright guys, so here we are with Lord Achilles. Let's start with the driver we have. Quick Dash. So this is in a really nice color scheme, one of my favorites with a really nice turquoise and dark blue color. And Quick Dash is one of the best attack type drivers because it can deliver some really hard attacks, but at the same time it does have some pretty decent stamina. And of course this is a dash driver which means it has a tighter spring and the bay is harder to burst. Alright guys, moving on to the disc we have. Paradox. So this is in a really nice dark blue color scheme and this disc is very wide and it does have two modes. It has the mode where the metal is facing upward and it does have more of an uppercut kind of shape to it. But when you pop this plastic piece out and then you flip the outer part out and then you pop it on again, first you have to align it with the outer part. You have its mode where the metal part is actually mostly facing downward and it does look more like a wall. Alright guys, moving on to the chip we have... Achilles. So this is in a really nice light blue color scheme with the really cool looking red eye. And of course the Achilles chip does have pretty good teeth. Alright guys, moving on to the base we have... Lord. So this is in a really nice blue and gold recolor. Here's a comparison to the original Lord Ring. Uh, uh, it, they have kind of switched colors because now the inside is gold and the outside is blue. While on the original, the inside was blue and the outside was gold. So that is a really cool feature. And of course, the Lord Ring is one of the best just because it, it is pretty heavy with metal. And it also has rubber to deliver really hard attacks. Alright guys, that was it for the parts of the bay, now let's put it together. Alright guys, first you pop the chip onto the base and click it into place just like so. And then the disc is pretty difficult to put on because these two pieces do not lock into place. And finally for the driver. And guys, here's what Lord Achilles looks like fully assembled in that really nice looking blue and gold color scheme. And guys, it, this is a very thick bay, and, and the disc is, of course, very wide, and it does look extremely cool. But now let's put the stickers on, and we'll show you guys how it's upgraded. Alright guys, so here's what Lord Achilles looks like with the stickers on. It definitely looks really cool, and it does add a really nice yellow to the layer to match the gold metal parts. Alright guys, so that was it for the embossing of this bay. Now let's move on to the test battles. Alright guys, so here we are with the test battles. We are going to be battling Lord Achilles up against two other attack type bays, which are... Brave Valkyrie and Tempest Dragon. So without further ado, let's get these battles started. Alright guys, first we're going to battle Lord Achilles up against Tempest Dragon. Three, Three two, two, one. Go. Alright, three, two, one, go. Once again, the Tempest Dragon going extremely fast, and that one does go to Tempest Dragon in a knockout finish. Alright, guys, now let's battle Bray Valkyrie up against Lord Achilles. Three, two, one, go. Alright, Lord Achilles making quick hits to Bray Valkyrie. Both of them going around the stadium. Looks like Lord Achilles is trying to lose a lot of stamina. A close one, but that one just barely goes to Brave Valkyrie in a spin finish. Let's do that, let's do that battle one more time. All right, three, two, one, go. Really hard hit from both plays, but that one does look to Ray Valkyrie in a knockout finish. Alright guys, so now let's do test battles with Lord Diabolos, 
which is the recommended combo and let's see how good it actually is. And here are the stats. Alright guys, let's battle it up against Lucifer the End and World Spring. So without further ado, let's get these battles started. Alright guys, first let's battle Lord Diabolos up against World Spriggan. Three, two, one, go. Alright, so far both things are pretty calm and both hit. And hard hits from both days. And they are having middle attack. Both base trying to lose a lot of stamina. Looks like it's gonna be a close one. And guys, that one just barely goes to Lord Diabolos in a spin finish. Let's try that battle one more time. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, both face chasing each other around the stadium and that one goes to World Spriggan in a knockout finish. Now let's battle Lord Diabolos up against Luke for the end. All right, three, two, one, go. And guys, that one goes to loose for the end in a spin finish. Let's do that battle one more time. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, guys, since there was no contact, let's try that battle again. All right, three, two, one, go. Alright guys, so in the end, even though Lord Achilles did lose to Brave Valkyrie and Tempest Dragon, it did stand a pretty good chance and it definitely was fun trying Lord Diabolo's Paradox Wave. And I do definitely recommend getting this limited edition bay. Alright guys, so that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did and want to support the channel, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and comment down below. Oh, combo out. Moving your baby.